Hello and welcome to this review of Ryan's Irish style cream liqueur, the original Ryan's. And I found that the trademark was issued in 1988, first used in 1988, so I guess that's how old it is. Made with imported Irish whiskey. Let me show somebody going down the road with an old wagon and a milk jug made with imported Irish whiskey. Okay, got that twice. 17% alcohol. It says Ryan's is a natural blend of fresh cream and the finest imported Irish whiskey. It is excellent served on ice with coffee or mixed in cocktails. Please avoid mixing with citrus. Bottled by the Sazerac Company, Louisville, Kentucky, colored with caramel. <clears throat> so it's colored with caramel. It's bottled in Kentucky. It's owned by Sazerac. I don't know if they were the original owners of it, but uh, that's who's got it now. They, they don't call it Irish cream liqueur because it's not made in Ireland. It's made in Kentucky with using Irish whiskey. And what's Sazerac's big Irish whiskey brand these days? Patties. It's not their only Irish whiskey brand, but it's their big one. So is this made with patties? I really don't know. They're not going to say. Now James P. Madonna, <coughs> a couple of times on <coughs> our group hangouts, Fandango Friday, brought different versions of this in the little sample bottles. He brought like a caramel version, a toffee version. So there are other ones made, but the website, Sazerac.com, only shows the original. <coughs> there are some video reviews for it. Not a huge amount, but some. And uh, the scores on distiller.com, there's only like a handful of tastings. They're, they're not too thrilled with it. Uh, Total Wine and More only has seven reviews. Let's see, what did they say about it? 4.6, so they're saying a 92. And... Uh, Google. Oh well. There's a. Oh yeah, there was no. Sorry, there was no. Vi there were no re reviews. I had the first one, so. <clears throat> sorry about that. All right. Um. So the caramel gives it a little brown. Without the caramel, it would just look like milk, I guess. Yellowish milk from the cream. Now, Sazerac does make some other 17% Irish creams for private label different stores. Like, well, they I, I get the impression that they handle it. I can't say they make it. And the funny thing about it is those are Irish creams. They're not Irish style made in Kentucky. They're, they're imported from Ireland. So <clears throat> let me backtrack that because maybe I'm just assuming that Sazerac's handling it. Although with some of the things you read on the label, I get that impression that it's them. And it probably is, but I can't say that definitively. So it's very milky. It looks like chocolate milk. It smells like a lot of those other Irish creams. Like I said, that I, I suspect Sazerac handles. You know, you get the chocolate milk, the chocolate, the vanilla, the whiskey. And if it's patties, that's fine because patties is good. You want to have it chilled. Don't drink it at room temperature. I wouldn't recommend it. See... It's very creamy, so they're probably using Kentucky cream, which is probably wonderful. Very creamy. The mouth feels velvety. The body is medium. It's like a semi-sweet finish. Is it boozy or liquory? No, it just isn't. It smells more liquor, you know, whiskey than the flavor. Now Irish whiskey is usually 80 proof. This is 34, so you can see how much it's dropping by adding the cream. 
Seem like they have some little cinnamon spice in it though. I can't say they do. Doesn't say that though. Could just be in my mind. Just says, no, it says made with imported Irish whiskey. A natural blend of fresh cream and the finest imported Irish whiskey. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about spices. And it doesn't even say Sazerac makes it. It says bottled by Sazerac. Well, they don't make patties. They just procure it. Patties is made by uh, Irish distillers uh, under contract. It's a different company. and um, So it's probably a creamery in, in, in um, Kentucky that does the job for them, and they just bottle it at Buffalo Trace. So that makes sense. Just like Ezra Brooks doesn't say they make it, the bottle says bottled by Ezra Brooks. This rivals the Ezra Brooks. I believe that was, yeah, it was 25 proof. This is 34. So this has a little bit more action going on with it. This is creamier than the Ezra Brooks. I'm not saying it's better, but maybe it is. Um, this might be the best Irish cream I've tried, and it's not used in Irish cream. So what does that let us know? Is Kentucky cream better than Irish cream? Could it be? Is it possible? I don't really know. I just know it's dynamite and it's going to get a solid A without a doubt. This is going to get a 95 out of 100. 9.5 out of 10. Good work, Sazerac. This is delicious. I would highly recommend it. And I got a deal. Everybody's selling it for $10.99. But I found it at Rouse's. They had a sale going on for months for $9.99. Before, during, and even now with the inflation, $9.99. And I'm not complaining. And it is well worth it. But yes, $10.99 is a good deal, but $9.99 is a great deal. So Lazy Lay, Bon Ton Relay, a most excellent Irish style cream liqueur. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Kentucky and tour the Buffalo Trace Distillery.